we got another creation in the kitchen for you. Yay! We're gonna try something a little different. What are we gonna do? We're gonna substitute white wine for flamethrower. So instead of a uh, garlic white wine sauce for shrimp, we're gonna do this uh, flamethrower, which is like kind of like fireball if you're familiar with that. I personally think it's a lot smoother than fireball, and as you can see, we, we clearly like it. It's pretty much empty. <laughs> so we're gonna try that today Yay. and see how it comes out. We're gonna create our own concoction. Let's throw some butter in the pan. It's gonna be a garlic flamethrower surprise. <laughs> Just medium heat. Got my shrimp thawing out over there and some water. Yum. Yum. Some salt. And some pepper. I'm gonna let the butter melt and the garlic cook for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna throw the flamethrower in. Okay. It's gonna get nice and hot. Super hot. We're gonna go for a quarter of a cup. It's a little bit different than white wine, so we're gonna go on a little bit lower amount. It's got quite a punch. Vegetti. Vegetti. What side do you use? Vegetti. It's already open. Oh, you got it. So, we're gonna make some zucchini pasta. It's super easy to use, and it's pretty good. Yeah, it works really well. They actually sell this at, like, some of the supermarkets now, and it's super expensive. Yeah, it's like, like already, like, yeah, noodleized. Like, you can pick up one of the vegettis for fairly cheap, and it works pretty well, and it does the same thing. Mm -hmm. You use it quite a bit. Like, it honestly doesn't take that long to do. Mm -mm. Like, you pay for somebody else to prepare it, which is kind of ridiculous. But then, you get a nice mixture of pasta. And you get a cone. And a cone. Cone shape. The garlic is sizzling. I'm gonna get some lemon juice. Hopefully, it don't get too much. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. There we go. I'm gonna add in the flamethrower. Here we go. This will be interesting because it's pretty sweet. So, let's see what kind oh, of flavoring this is going to have. Mm. Is it good? It smells like a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> we just use frozen shrimp because it's a lot easier. It's faster. A lot of the nights we're cooking on work nights, so. It's just nice knowing that it's like already fully cooked. We just mm -hmm. need to heat it up. Smell good? It smells like a fireball. <laughs> like the oh can my god. Like oh. a it smells like a candy fireball. <coughs> oh man, that burns the nostrils, huh? Yeah. So yeah, this uh, be interesting. This might be uh, not so good. I mean, it but could be good. It's a different flavor. Maybe it needs some hot sauce. No, it's minced onion. onion. Yeah, we'll throw a little bit of that in. Okay, here we go. Shrimp's going in. I'm gonna cook these, flip them, and then I'll put the pasta in after. I just want to make sure they're the shrimp are on their way first. Actually, it's starting to smell more like something that you would actually eat. I think it's actually starting to come together. How does it smell, Madison? And she likes it. She likes anything. She's like, can I have some? She's like, for me? Can I have 
Right, I'm gonna flip them. So depending on how this comes out, we might uh, come back to this with a different type of alcohol. I've always been curious as to why they pick certain alcohols with certain uh, things, so we're like, why don't we try some different ones and see what happens. You never know. Never know. But then it all might be for a reason as well. <laughs> yeah. Somebody might have already done this. <laughs> like, nope, that doesn't work. Doesn't work either. I think these are probably pretty good. So for now, these are just going to be put on the side. Keep some of the sauce as I can in the pan. So, and here comes all the zucchini. Looks like a lot right now, but it will cook down. So, and it's delicious. So, I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper on this as well. This usually cooks pretty fast, so give it another minute or two. Right, Madison? She says, yes. Why, of course. She's just patiently waiting for something to fall. I know. She's like, Keith, can I have? She doesn't even know what it is, but she's like, I will love it. Zucchini noodles. So juicy. Now I'm gonna just quickly heat the shrimp back up. It's been sitting for a minute. Nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hot, hot, hot. It looks really healthy and colorful. It is pretty healthy, except for the butter. <laughs> well, we use healthier butter. Yeah, this, I think that it's actually like olive oil, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. That's lovely. So this is our flamethrower and garlic shrimp with a side of zucchini noodles. Let's see how it comes. I go first? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna go for a little bit of the noodles and a shrimp as well. If I can get to the end of the noodle. It's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Okay. I feel like it needs something a little bit extra, but I'm not really sure what. I'll let you decide. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Let's see. Cut this tail off first. I hate that noise. It's too much noodles. Twirly twirl. Here we go. It is missing something though. 
Hmm. Like it's got like a little hint of sweetness to it. But I don't really taste like even like cinnamon. Like it, it just it tastes comes a little at the end. Sm like sweet, but the the cinnamon comes at the end. The I think it needs taste? I think it needs something up front. Hmm. I don't know what. I don't know either, but we can try this one again down the road. I think this will be one we have to experiment with, but that's actually pretty good. I am very surprised. Pleasantly pleased. Yes. That's great. So if you guys think you know the key ingredient we're missing, let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for future cooking videos and other miscellaneous fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget, you don't need water to make waves. Ah. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. Me too. Otherwise we've wasted some resources. Well, guess what? We're gonna eat it anyways. We're gonna have to find a way to sell sell Salvage it. Salvage it. Sell 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 I couldn't think. My brain shot. What do you think, Madison? Did we make a wise choice? She's like, I don't know. It smells delicious. Every time we're in the kitchen, she thinks she's getting something. I don't think she cares what it is. No, she was eating like rocks earlier. Like <laughs> sometimes we walk in and we have like rocks in our shoes and they just kind of fall out and she tries to eat them. Are you a dodo bird? You know they're extinct, right? You're not supposed to eat rocks. Actually, one of my dogs growing up, like she ate like the rocks that were behind my like parents like um add on like she would actually just like eat them out of there like a lot of them yeah like a lot of them i don't know why i guess like it's supposed to help with them like digesting certain things or something i don't know like the dodo birds that are now extinct <laughs> garso garso chef and garso what it's the chef and the garçon. What? Garçon. Garçon. It's like French for waiter. Is it? Yeah. Oh, how'd you know that? My parents say it. <laughs>